Fibonacci 101. Basically, to use Fibonacci, you have to keep track of four points, A, B, C, and D. A is where your move begins, B is where your move comes to an end, C is how far you retrace, and then D is when you extend on the original A to B move. If you can count to four, you can learn to use fibs. They're not really difficult. Where people run into problems is finding the A and B points for their measurements. If you're a beginner and you haven't used fibs, what I would recommend is find the C point first and work your way backwards. Oftentimes C is very easy to find because it's the point where your counter move comes down, comes to an end, and the original A to B move resumes. So if you find C, then you can just work your way backwards, move back and find the reversal at B, and then work your way backwards and find the reversal at A. That's the best way to start using fibs. Once you practice, they're going to start jumping out all over the place.